my three when I first started to do my act. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> 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 I'm not that. Okay, so Luigi, it is such a truly an honor and a blessing to be here with you. You're very welcome. You know, when I arrived at Luigi, I was well into my 50s and kind of crooked. I was, I was crooked. My jaw was, it was mended, you know. But I really, really, I had my training early in Giacchetti. And so, so did Luigi, right? You, said you didn't study Giacchetti, the system, the ballet. You told me you did, did he? He did. He did. Okay, so we had that in common. <laughs> and so, but I could tap dance. <laughs> I just read today there were two people, a man and a woman going across the country in one of those sleepers, sleeper trains, you know. They didn't know one another and were very embarrassed to find out that they, they had been booked in the same compartment. And so they were very tired, so they said, eh, who cares? And he went on the top berth. And she went in the bar. They're sleeping. Then around 1 a.m., he leans down, gives her a little something, and says, Could you please get up and get me the blanket from the closet? I'm very cold. She says, Well, could we just for tonight pretend that we're married? I said, oh yeah. <laughs> and then she said, go and get your goddamn blanket. <laughs> A few minutes later, he farted. <laughs> well, isn't that what married people do? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're really too hip. Okay, a couple of a certain age just turn out the lights. The husband, a few seconds later, turns to his wife, Ruthie, and touches her shoulder gently. She says, I'm sorry, darling. I have a gynecologist appointment tomorrow. I want to be fresh. <laughs> he sighs a little, turns over, comes back. A few seconds later, touches her again and says, Do you have a dental appointment? <laughs>
and stuff and they were good but all their, see now they all come around they, that was many years ago and now they're adults one of them is in a Broadway show at this time and uh, I've never done a Broadway show I did Follies and uh, when I when we were rehearsing for it uh, I did the part of Sally and we were uh, with Julia Prouse which was intimidating because she could dance better than I could and uh, she was supposed to <laughs> but I sang better than she did. I was so much so, she said, "Humbly, I'm too old to be humble, honey. It's all right." So, so, so I, uh, I, uh, when we started the dance number, you know that, what is that dance number when they, uh, all the 
Who's that woman? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's that woman? Right, right. So the, the, the director said, well, the choreographer said, well, you can dance. I said, yes, isn't that funny? So I, I put together this whole wonderful uh, arrangement for you, which I cannot sing because I'm shot. As you can see, I've been teaching, and we did Thursday night at uh, the Mac Awards, and then I did last night at Town Hall, and uh, I wanted to do, I won't dance, Luigi. I won't dance, Luigi. I won't dance, my dear, for you. Can you find this key? <laughs> <laughs> I won't dance, that's it, Luigi, I won't dance, Luigi, I won't dance, my dear, for you, my heart won't let my feet do what they could do, you're talented, you're, t oh, so what? You're talented, so what? You got talent, so what? Anyway, was it darling? You went to the movie. We went into um, Arthur Murray taught me dancing in a hurry because I met him before I met you. And then the third chorus was, uh, uh, I could have danced. And oops, now, since I met you. No, I can dance all night. I can dance all night and still have bed for more. I could have spread my wings, done a thousand things I never did. I'll never know what made it so exciting. Why all at once my voice. talent shows with his singing, dancing, and limber acrobatic tricks. By his teens, he was headlined as Steubenville's own Bobby Breen and became a novelty MC in vaudeville theaters. He then toured America's heartland, singing with the Bernie Davis Orchestra, replacing Dean Martin. After being drafted into the Navy in World War II, Luigi returned home and was urged to move to Hollywood to pursue a movie musical career. Within two months of living in Los Angeles, tragedy struck and a near fatal car accident. I had my accident in, uh, in, in December of 46. And what happened in the accident? I uh, paralyzed, paralyzed the right side of my body and the left side of my face, my eyes. I still have a double vision to work. And uh, I was unconscious. I was for, for about two and a half months, two months, uh, two and a half months. and. Uh, uh, rehabilitating myself for two and a half years before I was discovered. On his own, Luigi started creating stretching exercises into a routine that helped him discover what had to be done to control his body. He learned to always put the body in the right position, to feel from the inside out. After a long year of trial and error, he regained enough strength and equilibrium to study dance at Falcon Studios in Hollywood. Over a year later, Luigi, seen by a talent scout, was asked to audition for MGM's On the Town, starring Gene Kelly and Frank Sinatra. Miraculously, as he was still working out his paralysis, he got the job, 
and started an eight-year dance career in over 40 films, such as An American in Paris, <coughs> Annie Get Your Gun, Singing in the Rain, The Bandwagon, and White Christmas. Uh, the idea was for me to put my body in the right position to, to, to do the things I used to do before my accident, dance. That was my first love, that was my only love, and that's how I created this technique by putting my body in the right position. The exercise routine he created for his own rehabilitation after a devastating accident became the world's first complete technique for learning jazz dance. I learned to rehabilitate myself. I learned to put my body in the right position. I learned to put to, uh, for my own rehabilitation, I learned certain things to do. And, uh, and um, when, I, when, I, when I was at the point where I was uh, not too noticeable, I got this job in, in, on the town uh, with Gene Kelly. And uh, when, 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 do, during, during rehearsals, Gene Kelly would say, take five everybody. I would get up and do these exercises uh, that I had been creating for myself. During the long waiting periods on film sets, Luigi did his own exercises to make sure his body remained limber and would not ruin a take. Soon, dancers were following him, 10 or 20 at a time. Pretty soon, instead of me, just me, rehabilitating myself on set, I was rehabilitating the whole set, the whole crew. <laughs> and uh, Gene Kelly said to me, you should teach it my mentor. You should teach that. You should teach that, Luigi. That's, that's, that's good stuff, good stuff. Isn't that true he gave you your name? That's what he gave me my name. It was on the town. It was my birthday around this time of year, and uh, and then dear Ellen came in with a cake. Happy birthday, dear Eugene, Jean, Prashuto, Fahuto. Oh, how many? I held your real name anyway. I said, well, I was, uh, when I was born, they put in my birth certificate, Luigino. He says, good, we'll call you Luigi. Two jeans on his set is too much. On the town, singing in the rain, American in Paris. I did all those movies with Gene Kelly, and then with Gene Kelly, I met his choreographer, Bob Walton, who created him, who found him on Broadway. Robert Alton encouraged Luigi by saying, you've got a great style, you should teach it. So, Luigi started a jazz class in L.A. in 1951. He taught while working in films, live theater, and in TV variety shows such as The Colgate Comedy Hour and The Red Skelton Show. In 1956, Luigi was taken to New York City to perform in the Broadway show Happy Hunting with Ethel Merman and Fernando Lamas. He went on to dance and assist choreographers Alex Romero, Una White, and Lee Scott on three more Broadway shows before dedicating himself to sharing his dance method. He opened his school, the first World Jazz Center. I have created something, and that's what people want, and, and, and I have not created, and it's got to the point where it's good for mothers and fathers and children and babies and people with accidents all the time. I work with people every day. With, 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 with problems and how to put things in the right position so that they can get through it. That's what my class is all about: how to balance and control, and how to work, how to work with an injury, how to work around an injury, how to, uh, how to. Uh, I, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm not a doctor. I'm not, I'm not a surgeon. I can't get you better, but I can teach you how to work around an injury so that you would not look like there's something wrong with you. That's what I did with myself. I learned to work with it around the injury so that nobody even knew I was paralyzed. A good teacher knows how to prevent injuries, Luigi says. He stresses the importance of using the body properly, telling students to take your time, feel what you're doing. Luigi's talents and perseverance have given him the opportunity to work in every part of show business, from burlesque to Hollywood musicals, Broadway and beyond. The world has recognized Luigi's artistry by bestowing upon him many major awards and by inviting him to give master classes throughout North and South America, England, France, Hungary, Italy, Japan, and South Africa. He has served on the faculty for the Harkness Ballet School, High School for the Performing Arts, Sarah Lawrence College, NYU, Metropolitan Opera House, and the Joffrey Ballet School. His method is taught today by not only himself, but by his students in schools and colleges all over the world. Dancing is my whole life. I've never done anything else but dance. Nothing. Dancing is my whole life, and it's something that makes me happy, so why not share it? Why not give it? I'm a human being, so I can share it, and I can leave it behind. 